try it. So I saw um, a couple of weeks back, John gave an update of his bok choy uh, from Will It Grow in the, um, under the lights. This is our bok choy out in the garden. We've got a few trucks delivering dirt around us, so it's a bit noisy at the moment. Um, what we do, we don't pull the whole plant out. As you can see, Justin's just going around and cutting the outer large leaves of each plant. So we'll just um, go around and cut our leaves and then what that allows is for the younger ones in the middle to um, grow up. So it's a good one, you know, when you need to add something green to your nightly meal. We're going to put these into cold rolls. So um, I might show a quick thing of that, I might see how we go, but you put these on the on the uh, bench and then put your uh, what you're going to put in the middle of them on it and then roll it up and put it in your rice paper roll. Um, so these are a great one for our family because you can eat them raw or you can eat them cooked. So tonight we're going to eat them raw, but you can eat them lightly steamed. Um, you can pop them into anything really, any meal you're cooking. Just pop it in at the end and it will wilt right down um, and take on the flavour of whatever you're cooking. So yeah, by count, um, if you're cutting the outer leaves, it also allows light for the other plants and you can plant them quite close together then and you won't get overcrowding. So if you look here, it's quite overcrowded. So it'll stop this one from growing up, but by cutting these leaves, it then gives it the space to grow. So yeah, that's our um, bok choy. So it's earlier in the morning here, it's before school drop off. so. It's, the sun started to come out, but when it, we first come um, out in the morning, it's more sort of up like this. And then as the day goes on, it'll get flatter and flatter uh, on the garden bed. But these are the ones we showed you that we planted from the seeds. So we won't get a huge way in for shed walls, obviously, with leafy greens. But leafy greens grow quick. Uh, they're good for you. And you can pretty much add them to any meal, so they're a great one for our family. While Josie's cutting a few more leaves, I'll give you a bit more of an update of how the veggie patch is going. So I don't know if you can see the onions, they're starting to get their third one coming through now. There's still a few that are only, only two. Um, so these are the ones I planted in the egg crates as seeds. And then I've just planted them straight into the veggie patch where they were because they're so tiny. Um, you know, you've got to kind of wait till they're more this size to transplant. Well, I do anyway because I'm a bit clumsy. But you can see some of the egg cartons where I haven't buried them very deep. But, you know, they're just, they're just breaking down uh, in the soil. Uh, we're lucky in South Australia, our egg cartons are a recyclable cardboard. Um, I know in other places I can be plastic and things. I don't know what that is. I've got a feeling it... Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. But um, the seeds did get blown about uh, that I planted when we had that storm come through with those hot winds. And here's our lettuce and we've been doing the same with that as well. Uh, just, you know, it looks sad but you can see where we've just been cutting the leaves off as we grow them through. So we just cut them, there's some peas coming through, a few little sad onions in there that aren't ready to transplant. And I'm not sure what these are. Um, I'm thinking cucumber, but I'm also a bit worried that they might be pumpkin that were in my compost soil. Um, you're almost done. So just a few in the middle there, Juz. And over here are all the peas coming up so they'll be ready to put some kind of trellis system in. I was 
thinking about letting them hang over, but they don't seem to want to do that. They do really want to climb up. So I'll put something to help them keep growing. Um, and there's my zucchini that I'm hoping to get a couple of zucchini off. Um, this is a late plant for them, but I did do the count back. If the weather does what it's actually meant to be doing, I should get a couple off it. Um, you can see with having used the horse manure, one of the problems that we're having, this is another problem I'm having. Jet likes the sweet snow peas and keeps having a little nibble. Um, yeah, you tell him does. So with the horse manure, obviously I'm getting a lot of weed because it hasn't, remember I put it in quite fresh and didn't get that chance to go through the compost first. But, um, you know, part of this veggie patch isn't just about producing food for our family. It's about a bit of mindfulness time for me. Uh, so it allows me every day when I'm just watering, I'm just coming out and just picking the weeds and basically letting them compost where they are. So, so you know, not ideal in your, in your um, veggie patch to put fresh manure that hasn't gone through your compost because of that uh, amount of weed you're going to get. But that's where we're at and um, that's okay for me because my veggie patch is a little bit therapeutic as well. My basil. So in this veggie patch um, is Emmy's little joy and what is it, Embles? My basil. Basil. So Embles has a love of pesto. Mm. So we've planted a stack of seeds in here. You can also see I've got some onions that kangaroo. are growing through. Pardon? Where's the kangaroo? Where's the kangaroo? Just over there. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Um, what else have we got going on in here? Oh. That's your tomatoes. And we've got a couple of tomatoes in there. Sienna, do you want to just reach in and give those? Yeah. I made a bit of an oopsie with this um, tomato plant. Are you picking them? Oh, you want me all the, of them? No, just the two red, red ones. Um, this was a, my plant I was growing in a pot. And I thought, oh, why am I growing that pot? I'll transplant it into the veggie patch. But I was doing that for Shed Wars because you're meant to grow something in a I've pot. Got some bok choy. Jazz has got bok choy for dinner. They're eating the tomatoes, they're gone. Good one, Jazz. That's a good haul you've got there. Well done. Thank you. Here's the cucumbers growing. So they were growing from seeds, so they're getting up there now. And yeah, more onions. Here's the red onions. So these were planted at the same time as these brown onions. That's grass either side of that. So that's the brown onion seed that was planted. And here's the red onion seeds that were planted. So you can see the red onions are really a lot smaller and softer. Um, so I've just left them in the egg carton. I popped them into the soil just so they wouldn't get tipped, tipped over and things. And then I'll transplant them a bit out when they're a bit larger. But not many of them came up, but I have got um, other red onions in this veggie patch as well. I've got red, white and brown onions. So that's my Shed Wars update of the veggie patches. So not a huge amount in weight, but look at that haul. That is gonna feed our family of seven tonight what we need uh, yeah, with, our, with our cold rolls. I hope a little bit of this resonates with you. Yeah.